Hey guys, this is a video explaining how you're going to go about completing the lab reports. So we're in a Canvas um, homepage down at the laboratory module right here. Um, for each of the experiments, um, it's going to look like this. It's going to start out with one or more links to videos of me performing the experiment and explaining what's going on. Um, definitely, definitely watch those, maybe take notes. You might even want to have up, um, the laboratory report open or, or maybe the procedure open. Um, as you're you're watching that so that you know like where all these numbers come from um, So I'm not going to follow that but that just takes you to YouTube where the videos are um, The procedure right here. So you guys you're not going to actually do this. Um, that's this is just You know if you were you know, we were on campus. This is the procedure you would have followed. That's what that's what this file is um, Might be useful if you want to go back and see where some of the numbers came from I talk about the theory in the top two so if that helps you that's great um, then after that, after the procedure, um, there's the student data. Okay, so what you do, okay, so this is where you get your numbers that you use to complete your lab report. So click on this guy, open it up, and it looks like this. Find your name, okay, and each of these um, columns um, has a piece of data for you. I'll show you what I mean by A1, A2, A3, and all that. These are the units, degrees Celsius, um, for these notice okay there's 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 multiple pages the second page it's just continuing down with different names then on the third page we start again at the top but now we have <clears throat> different data a6 a7 a8 and so on continue on and then <clears throat> the last two pages the last set of data b4 through b10 so these um, cells here the ones that um, have for me it looks blue um, this is actually a link to a picture of a thermometer. And what you guys do, okay, is you click on that and it takes you to a picture like that. Um, that's where you get your data for that, for, you know, for A1, for instance. You read that number. Um, so <clears throat> just a, a reminder about recording, you know, sig figs, because that's really important. Let me just tell you guys, sig figs is the one reason I take the most points off um, for lab reports. So this is 20. Each of these marks is one degree Celsius. So 20, 21, 22. This is somewhere between 21 and 22. You estimate, but remember the rule is you always record one more place to the right than how far apart the closest marks are. The closest marks are one degree apart. They're in the ones place. So that means you always record to the tens place. I mean, if this was right on the 20, you would record 20.0, not just 20. So that's where you get that for A1, A3, A5, um, <clears throat> and A7. The other, other columns, it's just a number. That's your data. So for example, for A2, um, you know, that number right there, that would be your um, you know, degree Celsius, that temperature. Right? So there's your data. So you know, read across your name, go straight across. <clears throat> Then, okay, with that, you use that data and you complete the laboratory report. So that's this link right here. When you click on this, okay, um, and when you're ready, you'll be able to submit the assignment there. It'll just say submit assignment for you. But you click on this and now, please guys, remember um, to look at that video where I tell you how to submit the lab report. Follow all those steps. If you don't, there's a good chance that something's going to go wrong and you'll submit a um, a blank report when you think you did everything. So make sure you're using Chroma Chromium. Click on this. And what I suggest is you print this out, fill it in by hand, do all your calculations, get everything done, sig figs, then come back here. And what you do is you fill in these boxes in Chrome. Okay. Do not navigate away from that page. You'll lose everything that you wrote. So, so you put your name, not mine, right? Um, so let's say, um, I go here. If I were to navigate, I'd have to lose that anyway. So whatever you read from that picture for A1, let's say it was 23.4. Um, now, the thing about, about these boxes, um, you can do it, but it's not worth the effort to do superscripts and subscripts. So don't worry about it. Like for degrees Celsius, I did for the degree sign, I just use an asterisk, degree Celsius, like that. Um, and go ahead and fill in these. That's A1 through A8. Then you're going to do some calculations. 
So the analysis part. So this says here, this tells you that A, whatever you have, three goes there. So whatever number that was, I don't know, whatever it was. Um, that's probably closer to zero, anyway. And this one, you're, all you're doing is subtracting zero from it, so you get the same number over here. Now put your numbers, don't put mine, I'm just making numbers up. Um, but watch your sig figs, apply the rules for addition and subtraction. And these bars here, you're going to see them throughout the, the lab. These are absolute value bars. That means if you get a negative number, make this positive over here. Then you do the same thing with A4 here, and A7 minus 100 there, and A8 minus 100 there. Um, and then, you know, read this. This tells you how to figure out which was most accurate and most precise. Now, we're in part B. Um, and you go back to the, the lab data, and you find your B1 through... <clears throat> B10, put those in there. Let me show you how to get B11. So we'll come back to this in a minute. Um, go home, no assignments. So when you look at, actually, this is one reason here the procedure. Okay, so you're going to have to go, guys, into the procedure to um, get your. Um, your B11. And that's referring to this table right down here. Okay, so this is the table you use for B11. What you do is you find your temperature of, of your water. Um, for example, it won't be this, but if you, your temperature, you know, your B10, the number you have for B10, that's the temperature of your water, find the ones place here. So, you know, say it was 14.7 degrees Celsius. You find the 14 here. The tenth place here, the 0.7, and where these two intersect, that number right there, that's the density of water at your temperature. Um, do not round this. Use all the sig figs. So there's six sig figs in all these numbers. Make sure you have six sig figs. And the units are grams per milliliter. All right, so that's where you get your B11. It's going to be six sig figs. It's going to be grams per milliliter. And then you go on and you do some more calculations. Watch your sig figs. Um, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you guys are going to do the labs. If you have any questions, let me know. Send me a, a message or ask it on the discussion. Um, but there you go.